Well, when you go to the grocery store, uh, are you the kind of person that uh, writes everything down, uh, or do you have the list in your head? Which one are you, okay? Just kind of, I, I realize you're in your neighborhood gathering, but just as you gather with everyone, show of hands, how many of you write down your list? Okay, look around, you see who's written down the list, okay? How many, how many of you have written down the list in your head? Like you got it in your head, okay? Yeah, okay, I used to be the head guy. I, I used to be the, I got it, I know what I'm supposed to get. I'm supposed to get milk, pepperoni, some Cheez-Its, and some antacids. Uh, the antacids for the Cheez-Its and, and the pepperoni. And then you go to the store, and when you got it in your head, what happens? You you don't got it. You're like, I got it. You get all the way home and you unpack and you go, where's the Cheez-Its? Because you forgot. I, I have been there. And so I decided a couple years ago, you know, I'm going to be disciplined. I'm going to start writing things down. Laura and I found this is a, a great way we can share on our phones. We can share our grocery list together, which has been amazing. I can tell you this, we share a list, but we don't share shopping. We, we do not shop together. I, I don't get that. I, I go to the store and I watch couples. They are shopping together like it's date night. Like they got both of them. They both have hands on the carts and they're like this. They're just like, oh yeah, this is special. This is amazing. And then would you like frozen peas or, or what, what do you want? Do you want okra, fried okra? Or do you want peas? I don't care. I'm just happy to be with you. This is amazing. That would never happen with Laura and I shopping together. We have tried shopping together. I can tell you right now, the secret to 36 years of wedding bliss for Laura and I, Celeste, hope you're paying attention to this one. This is the secret to, wed to a wedded bliss. Don't shop together, okay? Because there's a reason for that. Because ladies, most of y'all, when you shop, what do you do? You linger. Because it's an experience. Oh, it's just amazing. I mean, just all of the colors and the opportunities and the clearance and the expl exploration and, oh, look at the different deals. And what does that package say? And look how it's packaged. Oh, it's the guys never shop like that. <laughs> For guys, come on, you guys, you know what we do? Divide and conquer. I guess what we do. And it starts in the parking lot. Like, you're, like when you drive onto that parking lot, you're like, you're immediately thinking. First thing a guy's thinking is, I ain't driving by the doors. Because if you drive by the doors, what's going to happen? Somebody's going to walk out. Walk out those doors. And you're going to have to slow down. And then they go, oh, you go for it. No, no. Oh, no, you, please, please. So you go. You go first, you know. Now you got to find the right spot to park because you need, you need your exit strategy. Then you go in, and I've got it mapped out. I got my list categorized, okay? Because I'm gonna divide. I'm gonna. I know where everything is. I'm strategic in how I'm going. I'm like, lady, get your cart out of my way. You're coming the wrong way. You're supposed to be. Do you not know how traffic works out there on the road? Why are you in this side? You need to get on that side. I mean, I've got. I got to get in. I, get, I would do amazing on that shopping spree show. I'm telling you, I would take home the ten grand because every time I'm trying to beat my best time. I'm like, seven minutes, 43 seconds, through the checkered tape. That's how I walk out of the store. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I want to divide and conquer. Now, when we look at the Lord's Prayer here, right in the middle of the Lord's Prayer, Jesus reminds us that God cares and God wants to meet your needs. What does he say? Give us this day our daily bread. I, it's in the middle of the prayer. It's not on the front of the prayer. It's, it's in the middle of the prayer. But come on, how often, if not all, most of the time, do we jump right to the middle of the prayer and we go right to our shopping list of needs? I mean, I check, I need this God, check, I need this God, check, I need this. I mean, most of us are not lingering. Most of us, when it comes to prayer, it's not an experience, the truth is, most of the time, it's divide and conquer. I need God to, to meet my needs. But, but prayer was never meant to be transactional. Prayer was meant to be relational. That's, that's why Jesus told us to pray this way. It's why he starts with this idea of saying, our Father. It, it's relational. And, and then he says, I do care about your needs. I want to meet your needs, but... I'd like for you to write this down because this is what's so important about prayer that often we forget. Prayer is an invitation to meet with the one who meets my needs. Prayer is an invitation to meet with the one who meets my 
needs.